Well, we are expecting to see a major change coming to the NFTA next year. It's planning on installing turnstiles at underground metro rail stations. They're doing this to crack down on those not paying to ride, but transit experts say that that is the least of the NFTA's issues. Ali Ingersoll from our nonprofit partners at Investigative Post has this report. During every metro rail journey as commuters travel along to their destination, it's possible a couple passengers are riding the rail without a ticket. The NFTA estimates fare evasion has cost the authority $200,000 in revenue just this year. I would say our estimates may be a little bit conservative. To curb fare evasion, the NFTA is upgrading its fare collection system. This project, which costs $22 million, will completely revamp what all eight underground stations look like. Instead of passengers just being able to walk right in and go down onto the train, they'll have to stop at a fare gate first, replacing the honor system, which the Metro Rail has long run on. The NFTA didn't tell us how much the fare collection system would cost when we sat down with Tedris for the first interview. So we went back. How do you justify spending $22 million on this new fare collection system when fare evasion really only costs the agency $200,000 a year? Well, it's not fare evasion alone. It's not the single reason why we're doing this. It's really many, many reasons, and the rationale is very simple. We are future-proofing our system. Um, the current fare collection system is 20 years old. It's an aging system. It needs to get up to date. Fare evasion isn't that big of an issue in Buffalo. The agency estimates around 1% of riders are on board without paying for a ticket. Nationally, that average is 5%. Even cities with turnstiles still struggle with fare evasion. This video taken the other day in New York City shows that. And that's what leads the NFTA police chief, George Gast, to believe it'll remain a persistent problem here in Buffalo even after the gates are installed. It's not going to end. It'll be a very clear uh, barrier that people will know without a doubt that if you go through this turnstile, you need a ticket. These turnstiles will actually make Buffalo an outlier. Most light rail systems around the world don't have them. A transportation expert says the NFTA's current system is the most economical for taxpayers. The agency has much bigger problems than ferry basics. The most notable problem plaguing the transit authority, a lot fewer people are taking the train and bus. Ridership is down 15 percent since 2016. Buffalo isn't alone in its ridership struggles. It's a trend happening across the nation. The transportation expert we talked to says some regions have rebounded by improving their transit systems and says passengers here would be better served with more bus shelters and benches at rail stops than putting up turnstiles. A waste of money. Um, I suspect it's spending more money to solve the problem than the problem cost. These turnstiles and the new fare collection system are expected to be up and running by the end of 2020. For Channel 2 News, I'm Ali Ingersoll with Investigative Post. All right, Ali, thank you for that. And you can, of course, watch that story once again, or you can find more Investigative Post stories on their website at investigativepost.org.